in your life, have you ever thought about doing something which is not at all possible for you? Today I want to speak on the topic, doing the impossible. We read in the Bible that when Peter and his friends were traveling on board, Jesus in the night came to them, walking on the water, approaching to them, to the board where they travel. When Peter came to know that it was Jesus Christ who came to them walking on the water, Peter said to the Lord, Lord, if it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. Peter here is saying, Lord, tell me to come on the water like you. Then the Lord said, come, Peter. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walk on the water and come toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sing and cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? We see here Peter telling Jesus Christ, Lord, tell me to walk on the water and come to you. Peter is telling to do the thing which is not possible at all for him. One interesting thing here is Jesus did not say to Peter, Peter, what are you trying to do? Walking on the water is only reserved for me. It is not for human being to walk on the water. It is not possible for you to walk on the water. Jesus did not say. When Peter said, Lord, if it is you, tell me to walk on the water. The Lord said, come. You know, when we try to do something which is impossible for us to do, the Lord never said, don't do. It is not going to be possible for you. He said, do it. If you believe in me, I will help you. Then Peter got down from the boat and started walking and came to Jesus Christ. Something happened to him. He looked the wind and started sinking in the water. And then he cried, Lord, please save me. Then the Lord immediately reached out his hand and caught him, telling to Peter, Peter, you have a little faith, you of little faith. Why did you doubt? And of Peter, as long as he looked at Jesus Christ, as long as he fixed his eyes on the Lord who gave him power to walk, he could walk on the water. But the moment he looked around the wind, he was afraid and started sinking. You know, many times the same thing happened to us. We do great things in life. We started doing something great in life. But on the way, we started doubting. We doubt God. We doubt about ourselves. We doubt about our future. And then we stop doing. Today, I want to tell you, don't doubt. Don't look your problem greater than the Lord who gave you power. Don't take away your focus from the Lord and focus your eyes on your problems. You know, as long as you focus your eyes, you fix your eyes upon the Lord, the Lord will be bigger than all your problems. But the moment you take away your eyes upon the Lord and fix your eyes on your problems, even the smallest problem will become bigger than your God. I want to tell you, the Lord is bigger than all the problems that you face. Fix your eyes upon Him. One interesting thing here is that even though Peter started sinking because of his doubt, the Lord lifted him up again. You know, you may fail doing something in life. There may be great problems in life, troubles in life. We may start at sinking. But when we cry to the Lord, the Lord will come immediately and lift us up again. Today, I want to encourage you. Like Peter, when you try to do the impossible thing, believing in the Lord, the Lord will never tell you, don't do. 
it is not going to be possible for you. He will say, do it. If you believe in me, you will be able to do it.